cooking with the rock. I'm about to cook me a chicken like a turkey. Make me some dressing, strained beans, macaroni and cheese, little potato salad. I'm running out of stuff to cook. This your boy making it look easy but good. Make sure you subscribe to my channel below so you can see the next thing I'm cooking. Hey. Hey y'all, this your boy cooking with the rock. Y'all can see us. I got my chicken here and I'm about to get it prepared to go in the oven because I want to cook it with some dressing and everything and have a pre-Thanksgiving dinner because I'm running out of stuff to cook. Okay, this your boy cooking with the rock. We get back. Okay, these two knives I'm going to use. And you know you got to always sharpen the knife. So as you can see, I got my bay leaves, parsley, chicken bouillon, onion, ground pepper, I got my Creole seasoning, my thyme, and my bay leaves, and yet for all, my garlic powder. And I'm going to season this up for tomorrow. I'm not cooking this today. Now, see, this getting down to the real nitty gritty right here. And me, I like to put a little oil. Put a little oil on here. I ran out of uh, olive oil, but this is good. So you put your little oil on here and rub it all down in there. You no, know, don't be scared of it. I like to take the skin and see, y'all see I'm messing with this chicken. Everybody know chicken when you mess with chicken, you better be washing your hands. And that's the purpose of the bleach. That's the purpose of the bleach. Every time you change seasoning and you've been touching this chicken, make sure you you go on and wrap it. You go on and dip it in that in that uh, bleach water. That's why it's for. That's why I tell you about it. Every time you touch that chicken, now if you don't touch the chicken. Then you're good. Which I'm gonna do right now. I ain't gonna touch it no more. I'm just gonna keep putting the season on it. Then I'm gonna give it a good rub. I'm gonna give it a good rub. And see this gonna this gonna marinate overnight. It's going to marinate overnight. You know, you get your stuff all down in there. And really, you know what I like to do? I like to cut up in here and get some of that seasoning up in there too. Get it all up in there. You gon' don't be stingy with it. Don't 
won't be extended. Now, y'all can see I have been touching this. As y'all can see, that I've been touching this, it's cool. But see, when you got that bleach water, this is what I'm talking about. You wipe all these down. See, you wipe them down with some, even though you touch them. You wipe everything down. This shit almost like COVID-19, goddammit. Wipe everything down before you put it back in your cabinet. I'm going to put a couple bay leaves. I don't think I put that in there. I ain't got to worry about that now because I can do that in the dressing. You see over here, you wipe this shit down. Before you put it back up in your cabinet. <clears throat> See, my motto is make it look easy but good. Because young people is lazy. They don't want to do a goddamn thing. Okay, this is a little time I forgot to put on here. I'm going to put it on there now. And see, this is another thing, too. To all cooks, don't wait till your food is done to figure out. Now, you, now, now it ain't tasting like you look, hoping it to taste. You have to taste your food as you go along. See? Okay, as you can see, my chicken is ready to go in the oven. Been seasoned real good. I got the breast face down. You're gonna go and put this in the oven and get ready for my string beans. And I have my turkey part to put in for my string beans. I'm putting in the pressure cooker and get that prepared before I uh, do my string beans. Because of this time of the year, I guess I couldn't find no fresh strain beans. So I'm going to show you how to make these taste just like fresh. Cooking with the rock, making it look easy, but good. Meanwhile, you can see that I got my chicken, my necks, and my uh, liver and stuff from the chicken to make my broth. And, uh... I'm going to put it in this pot, get it to boiling for my dressing, and we'll get right back with you. Okay, I got my celery. I'm finna chop up, and usually I like to cut my celery down in the middle to make smaller pieces uh, to get it ready for my dressing. Uh, take your time, you know, and like you can see, you can see my yellow and red peppers over there. I only like to use them for the seasoning. And like I said, when you get red, yellow, and red peppers, you got to use them. Don't throw them out. They can. Yeah, I'm going to throw them red and green. I mean, I'm sorry, them yellow and red peppers right in my broth, you know. Peppers just give it some type of magical flavor, you know. I leave them big like that because I take them out and throw them away uh, as I finish uh, with my broth. Bring it on up. Yep. 
as you can see my turkey is falling off the bone okay it's falling off the bone as y'all can see And like I say, I cook to help young people to motivate them to start cooking and taking care of themselves. Have your Thanksgiving and stuff for your parents at your house this year. Now, like I said, see, cooking it with these turkey is going to get these strained beans that fresh strained bean taste. You ain't even going to know they're out the can. Come on, y'all, this boy cooking with the rock. I'm going to show you. Get a little ground pepper in there. I got my, got my minced garlic. Garlic. Okay, we're going to stick this back on. And we're going to put this on beans. And that's going to cook for 30, 30 minutes. And those going to be done. I'm having macaroni cheese with my cranberry sauce. It's cooking with your boy, The Rock. Making it look easy, but good. Hey, this your boy cooking with The Rock. And yesterday you seen me prepare the chicken for roasting in the oven. Got my oven set at 350. It's already preheated. So we're gonna put the oven, the chicken in the oven. So we're gonna have some string beans. And we're gonna prepare them to destroy the cooking the rock and make it look easy. As you can see, I got my chicken. It's time to uh, turn it over because I had it breast down. So uh Turn the old chicken up. Okay. in there and let it get mostly all the way done then I'm gonna have my dressing ready okay I got my cornbread ready and uh, this was some of the meat from the turkey I mean from the chicken the gizzards and the neck and all that dump that on there now this is some more fresh Cause when you uh, even though I cook some with the broth, you want some fresh veggies up in there. Oh yeah. And if you're watching the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, cause I'll be doing some more stuff soon. Put a little minced garlic in there. I cook with garlic with damn near everything I cook with. If you're around me, my breath and shit be staking. You know, you'll understand why. Uh, put a little poetry salt season in there. A little sage. Yep. And 
This is secret of mine, so y'all can steal it. Cream of mushroom, y'all. Put some of that in there. Here's my broth that I had cooking, y'all. Put that on in there. Take your time because you don't want it to be too loose because I'm going to stuff my chicken with this. Okay? Yeah, you get this all mixed up in there. Real good. I'm not making a lot of dressing. And the reason why I'm cooking today, y'all, is because my old lady, she has to work. And I don't like her being on the job looking at other folks eating and shit and be begging, you know, people to eat. So I have been disabled for some years. So I have to take care of her and make sure she has the proper things. And be happy at work, you know. Uh, I'm home most of the time, so I like cooking and taking care of my baby. She the only baby I got. My kids is grown. Yeah, she the only baby I got. So, yeah, this is looking real good here. And always taste your food a little bit, you know. Yeah, that tastes real good. Yes, sir. Put me a little garlic powder in there. Put me a little garlic powder in there. onion flavor, a little more onion salt, a little more onion salt, and last but least, a little more chicken bouillon. Yes, sir. And I think I need a little bit of more little more onion soup mix. This is what makes a lot of my food taste sweet. Like my boy A.B. said, like fire. Ha! I like A.B., y'all. Uh, A.B. my go-to guy. I like A.B. a lot. I like how he carries himself online. I like how he did this. He's a cool brother. So we're going to mix that up and and wait on that ch chicken to get halfway done. Okay, we're going to set this to the side. And my strain beans is about ready. So, she got to go to work at 2 o'clock, so I got up early. This is how you take canned string beans and make them taste like fresh string beans. Now you see that? This is what I'm talking about, y'all. Making it look easy but good. For you young people that don't want to cook, lazy, I make it look easy for you. Cooking with the rock. So last little thing we're going to do with that. 
everybody to know. I wonder what y'all think I got to do. Bam! The butter. Yes, sir. You got to have that butter in your string beans. It just won't be right. Let that sit up in there, y'all. And like I say, you cooking with the rock. Making it look easy, but good. Yes, this your boy Rock, and um, like young people always clean your kitchen before you even start anything. Keep some fresh dish water because as you cooking and taking the pots, you take your food out of the pots, put it in Tupperware, and then you go and wash the little things up. So when you finish, the kitchen is clean. Make sure you push the like button and subscribe to your boy, Cooking with the Rock. Always making it look easy, but good, y'all. Okay, I'm finna get my macaroni together. Got me two eggs. You know black folks love them some damn macaroni cheese. Any time of the year. Okay, I got my pet milk. My eggs. We're gonna get that stirred around in there. Get that going. Yeah. Sometimes I think that we the ones that made up macaroni. We probably did, you know. Our ancestors, when they was whooping our ass in the kitchen. I don't even think the white folks ate it. Now they love it. You know, mac and cheese. You know, they eat this shit for dinner by itself. Ain't that a bitch. Okay, like we got that good and mixed up in there. Okay, macaroni always needs some salt. Always, I don't care when you put a little bit in there. It always seems like it ain't enough. So I did put some in while my macaroni boiling, but I got my sea salt. Just put a little bit more in there. Okay. It's time for the cheese. Me, I like cheddar. I use a little different kind all the time, but my mama used to uh, make her stuff all cheddar, and I miss that little lady. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my cheddar in here. The Lord knows I need some cheddar. So I hope y'all subscribe to my channel and help me get a little cheddar. Hey, hey, put your milk. Usually, I don't like to put a lot of milk in there because uh, it be seeming just to set on the bottom. I'm going to get that all mixed up. Man. You see, before, make sure you put some butter in there. I put it in there when the stuff was cooking. I mean, when I took the uh, macaroni out of the, out of the pan, out of the pot, rather. Don't be cheap on the, on the cheese, you know? My kid's mother like that, man. She, she be acting like she trying to save the damn cheese for something else. Cheap ass don't buy enough for the other stuff. That looks pretty good. Man, we're gonna put the rest of this milk in there. Okay. Let me go ahead and put the rest of this cheese in there. There we go, y'all. Cooking with the rock, making it look easy. See, you gotta make it look easy for the young people because if it's they lazy as it is. If it's too hard, they're going to be, nah, let's go. Let's go to Popeye's. They got some macaroni cheese. Motherfucker, well, Popeye's ain't got no goddamn macaroni cheese. Okay. Okay, now that's ready to go in the oven. I'm about to put this into a, in the oven right along with my chicken. And that's how you cook, y'all. When your oven is on, try to get everything in there. Get it prepared. It don't take long. 
cooking with the rock. Hey, one thing about a cook, he just like a mechanic. If a mechanic come over your house to fix your transmission, all he got is a couple wrenches and a hammer, you ain't gonna let that motherfucker fuck with your car. Cooking the same thing, you gotta have your tools together. And it makes the job more easier. I cook with my pressure cooker. I press with the new wave oven. Air fryer. I got some other things, my walk. All these things is very important. You gotta have your meat all uh, gauge to tell how when the meat is done. You gotta have your tools, y'all. So make sure that you get your tools to make your job much easier. Because you know my motto, making it look easy but good. This your boy, Rock. Cooking with me, baby. Yes, as you can see, my chicken is just about done. I didn't want it to cook all the way because I got to prepare the dressing. Um, I already took the temperature and the chicken is at the right temperature where it wouldn't dry out when I'm about to put this dressing in there, you know. Yeah, and you always want to get some dressing up inside for all them juices and stuff can mix in with the dressing and give it more flavor. <laughs> 